Having got a trend line on your scatter diagram, you probably do uh, care about whether it has a good correlation or not. And there is a way to measure that, which you will have studied in your statistics course, called the correlation coefficient. And there are two ways to get that in Excel. Um, one way you may have spotted earlier, if I click on this uh, trend line and click on right-click format trend line, these options contain a little tick box at the bottom called display R squared value on chart. Now, R is the correlation coefficient. Uh, I'm not going to teach you what that is. You can, I'm sure, figure that out from your course. Uh, this is going to tell you what R squared is. There are technical reasons why it's telling you R squared and not R. Uh, again, I'm not going to explain that. But if you do tick this, um, it does turn up on the screen and it says that R squared, so the square of the correlation coefficient, is this number, 0.3936. Now, that works. It's slightly odd that they give you R squared uh, if you're not sure why. Uh, but there is another way to do it. Um, the other problem with this is you can't copy that into something else. It's just a bit of graphics on the screen there. There is a formula in Excel to do this anyway, though. So if you just click a blank cell and start a new formula by typing equals, the correlation coefficient formula in Excel is known as Corel. And you can see if you start typing it, it's guessing that that's what you want. To finish, uh, to choose that suggestion, you can press uh, tab and it sort of completes it for you and now it's asking for two arrays these are the uh, lists of our data the first array I'm going to choose is A and it does cope with the fact that there's text at the top um, it doesn't seem to process that it seems to be fine with that press a comma to give it the next array you can see that array 2 is now highlighted I'm going to click on column C and I'm going to close the bracket because that's all I want it to do and if I press return it calculates the correlation coefficient for me of that data which is 0.62 or 0.63 um, this is a good correlation here uh, just to, so you know what happens, if there is data missing, it does cope with it. For example, if I de this, delete this bit of data, you can see the value has changed over here a little tiny bit. And what it's doing is that when it encounters a missing piece of data, it just ignores that entire row. So if I undo that and delete this piece of data, you can see the same thing happens. All it's doing is just losing that row. And if I delete the second piece of data in that row, it doesn't change anything anymore. But don't delete the data if it is valid. Um, and let's also just check that it is the same as the other calculation. If I press equals and say, let's take that thing and square it, we should get the same as what we had on the graph already. You can see 0.39359, which rounds to 0.3936 as before. That's how to calculate the correlation coefficient of a, uh, some data, bivariate data in Excel.